St. Margaret Mary a la Coque, Order of the Visitation, 1690, Paray le Monial, France. St. Margaret Mary a la Coque was born of a respectable family in a village in the Diocese of Autun. From her earliest years she gave signs of holiness. Filled with a burning love of the Virgin Mother of God and of the August Mystery of the Eucharist, while still a young girl she dedicated her virginity to God. Above all else she strove to realize in her life the performance of Christian virtues. She delighted to spend continuous hours in prayers and in meditation upon the things of heaven. She was humble and patient in adversity. She practiced bodily penance. She was charitable towards her neighbors, especially the poor. By every means within her power she strove diligently to imitate the most holy example left by our Divine Redeemer. St. Margaret entered the order of the Visitation. There her life became immediately a shining example to others God endowed her highly with the gift of prayer. He gave her other favors, such as frequent visitations. The most famous of these was that one when Jesus appeared to her as she knelt in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament opening his breast her revealed his divine heart glowing with flames and encircled with a crown of thorns. He bade her in return for his excessive love and in atonement for the insults of ungrateful men, to seek to have established public adoration of his heart. This devotion he promised to enrich with treasures of heavenly grace. When out of humility, she hesitated to undertake so great a task, the loving Savior encouraged her. At the same time he pointed out Claude de la Colombier, a man of great holiness, as one who could guide and help her. Our Lord also comforted her with the assurance that very great blessing would accrue afterwards to the Church from the worship of His Divine Heart. St. Margaret strove ardently to fulfill the Redeemer's command. Vexations, even bitter insults were her portion from some who maintained that she was subject to mental aberrations. She not only bore these sufferings patiently she even profited by them, offering herself in anguish and reproach as a victim acceptable to God bearing all things as a more sure means of accomplishing her purpose. Renowned for her religious perfection, becoming each day more closely united with her divine spouse by contemplation of celestial things, she took flight to him in the forty-third year of her age and in the year of restored salvation 1690. She became famous for her miracles. Benedict XV added her to the list of the saints, Pius XI extended her office to the universal church. O Remus! O Lord Jesus Christ, who deeds wondrously reveal to the Virgin Blessed Margaret Mary the unsearchable riches of thy heart, grant by her merits, that we who love thee after her example in all things and above all things may obtain an everlasting abode in thy heart. Qui vivis et regnus, cum Deo Patris in unitate spiritus sanctae Deus. Per omnia secula secularum. Amen.